In this video, I want you to discuss the transform tool here. Our issue is where we have this shot we're making. When Messi kicks the ball, the ball goes into the net, but it's out of frame. And what I previously do is make a command B cut here, command B cut here, add also the axis here, and just drag this frame. So then we've got the ball going out of frame just like that. I think that's good and all. I found a better way and it's using this transform tool. So the point we want to start about here, the ball is going out of frame. This is a keyframe, make a first keyframe, you see? So it starts here, it's important to do that. And you see then here, all these keyframes have gone in to turn yellow. So now what I need to do is put the space bar to the point where I want the, the keyframe to end. The ball's gone in the net about the. So now I'm going to drag this and I'm going to drag it so it, it brings the ball in the net. The position X and Y is altered those and it's made the keyframes automatically, which is really good. We haven't confirmed it yet because we can just reset it. But once we press done, it will confirm it. We can see the frame has shifted like that which I think is probably a better way of doing it, smoother. I'm going to be happy with that. I'm going to press done. So you see, now the ball is staying in frame and that's uh, a free flowing move. Very useful demonstration of this transform tool. You know, I've been using Final Cut Pro for a while, but I struggled to get my head around this. I hope this has been helpful for you, you as well, you know. So if you uh, find value from these videos, please consider subscribing to this channel to help us get bigger on YouTube. And I'll see you in more videos soon. Thanks for listening.